Moving on to another question. Is the earth angry? Because it has been going through a lot lately. You can see it all around you. The question might seem absurd, but the natural events that have occurred in the last few days have forced me to ask this tonight. How much more can the earth take? Humans interfere too much with nature. This is a news. But nature is now fighting back with great fury. Earthquakes in Turkey and Syria are the latest examples. The countries were hit by three earthquakes in less than 12 hours. They were all above the magnitude of six. The first one being the most deadly with a 7.8 magnitude. More than 41,000 people have died. Millions are currently in need of humanitarian aid. But did you ever ask, why did this happen? Why are earthquakes getting more deadly and frequent? According to statistics, there were over 2,200 earthquakes in the year 2021. The numbers are astounding. 16 of these were higher than 7 on the Richter scale. 3 were higher than 8. Experts are now predicting that there will be more of such calamities, more deadly and more frequent. I don't mean to scare you, but warnings have been issued for India as well. You see, some areas are more prone to earthquakes than others. Do you know about the tectonic plates? These are the bits that make up the Earth's crust. So when pressure builds up on these plates, the Earth's surface jerks and earthquakes occur. The plates are particularly unpredictable in some areas of the world and these are known as the seismic zones. Let's take a look at the riskiest one now. The map is on your screens now. The Circum Pacific Belt is the world's greatest earthquake belt. You might have heard about it. It's popularly known as the Ring of Fire. The majority of Earth's earthquakes, as high as 81% of them take place along this Ring of Fire. It is located along the rim of the Pacific Ocean tracing the boundaries along several tectonic plates. While India is not located on this belt, it still has a history of devastating earthquakes. So should you be scared? Probably yes. According to the National Institute of Disaster Management, 59% of Indian landmass is prone to earthquakes. 59%. The national capital, Delhi, lies in the second highest seismic zone. But earthquakes are not the only thing to be scared of. Sea levels are also rising at an unprecedented rate. The UN Secretary General has given a stark warning. Listen in now. The consequences of all of these are unthinkable. Low-lying communities and the entire countries could disappear forever. We would witness a mass exodus of entire populations on a biblical scale. And we would see ever fiercer competition for fresh water, land, and other resources. A score of countries and big cities are at an alarming risk of rising sea levels. This includes Bangladesh, China, India, and the Netherlands. Big cities such as Mumbai, London, Los Angeles, New York, Shanghai, and Bangkok are also on this list. The danger is especially acute for nearly 900 million people who live in coastal zones at low elevations. Now that accounts for one out of 10 people on Earth. Global warming is only worsening. Climate change is boiling up the planet. Glaciers and ice sheets are melting. According to NASA, Antarctica is shedding some 150 billion tons of ice mass annually. Greenland's ice cap is shrinking even faster. It is losing 270 billion tons of ice every year. So what's happening? What does it make you think? The earth is suffering. The signs are all around us. It's high time we take action. It's too late for lip service. Beyond World is One is now.